What is going on, everybody? Jamie Shaw here on the Absolute Basketball Experience. I'm very excited for today's guest, six foot four, 2022 prospect, Quante Berry of Winston Salem Christian in Winston Salem, North Carolina. We get to talk today about Quante as a prospect. We get to talk about his game. We get to know a little bit more about Quante, and we get to show you some film. Today's film, we're going to be cut from Quante Berry season mixtape, is the title posted by C.J. Newton on April the 20th, 2020. So very excited for you to get to see a little bit of him, to get to know more about him, and to get to know more about his process as a player and all that type of stuff as well. So it's a very inclusive video. Very excited for you guys to get to see it. The link to the, the, the full video of what we're using is below. Make sure you check out C.J. Newton. Make sure you check out Quante Berry's season mixtape, and it's full. Before we get into it, we ask that you please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We ask that you give this video a thumbs up. And we want to hear from you in the comment section below what team you feel like will be the best team in the state of North Carolina next year. Very excited to hear from you with that in the comment section below after you subscribe, after you like the video. And if you enjoy what Quante has to say, if you enjoy about Quante Berry, please be sure to share it across your platforms as well. We want everybody to get to know him. Uh, we would be very thankful for that, and so will Quante. But without further ado, here is six foot four, 2022 prospect Quante Berry on the Absolute Basketball Experience with Jamie Shaw. Thank you guys very much. What is going on, everybody? Jamie Shaw here on the Absolute Basketball Experience. Very excited today to have six foot four, 2022 prospect Quante Berry on the show with us today. Quante, how's it going? It's going good. How are you? Good, man. Good. Um, so these last, you know, six to eight weeks, we've been in quarantine and all that type of stuff. What shows have you binge watched on Netflix, and do you recommend them to everybody? Uh, Outer Banks, most definitely. Outer Banks, you must watch that. <laughs> Uh, Dynasty is really good. They got they got in Riverdale. Riverdale, you got to watch Riverdale. <laughs> good deal. Uh, <laughs> so you know, obviously, with your brother having signed with Rhode Island, your sister having played at USC Upstate and stuff, what are those driveway basketball games like in your family? <laughs> Straight comp, comp, <laughs> just comp. Me and my brother stay hours outside fighting, <laughs> running in the house mad because I lost or something like that. How old were you the first time you met him? Actually, the first time I beat him was, like, on my birthday, th this birthday, like, last month. <laughs> Tough. Hey, that's a good yeah. birthday present, though. Yeah. <laughs> maybe um, maybe did it on purpose. I don't know. I was about to say, now, will he will he say that you beat him, too, or was it one of those things? Yeah. Where hey, he'll, he'll say it this time. He'll say it this time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Um, all right, so last season you averaged 16.6 .6 points, 4.3 rebounds, 3.6 assists, 2.6 steals per game at Bradley Central. You all went 23-7 and seven on the year. How would you say the season went for you? I think it went well. We were like a young team. So, like, we, we started off, like, kind of – that's what, we lost about four games at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then after about that Christmas break, we just turned it up. Like, we, I think we matured as a team. It, went, it ended pretty well, I think. And then individually for you, uh, you put up robust numbers across the board and stuff. Obviously, you were probably a leader on the team and everything. How would you, how would you say you grew throughout the season? I think I, I grew a lot. Like, I mean, uh, my, my teammates and my coaches just put me in the best position to, like, perform how I performed. And, like, it, they just made it a lot easier. And, like, they, they helped me, like, understand, like, it's not – like, it's, it's not as hard as it has to be. Like, they just made it a lot easier than just to do everything, really. And then after the season ended, you announced that you'll be playing at Winston-Salem Christian next year. What all went into that decision for you? The opportunity, really, the, the national schedule, 
the team that they have mm -hmm. and this the school itself is like a really great uh it's just a really great school uh and it, it was just it was just a smart move i think and then obviously your brother played for a few seasons in north carolina as well what advice did he have for you and what is it about the hoop state for you guys <laughs> uh he had the advice he had was uh if you just make you you gonna make friends, don't worry about that. If I could just stay focused and like now I have to like just grow up and do it by myself. Mm -hmm. He said he said I'll be straight at when I just realized that. But <laughs> the hoop state is just that's just where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Um, so your first offer came in October of last year when Florida offered. What was that moment like for you when you when you got that offer? Actually, we were in a pep rally. Like it, like I was in a pep rally when my uh, AAU coach called me and told me. So like, I, like it, it was crazy. Like it was the day of like our rival football team game. So like we were already like pumped the whole day at school. So it, like it was just a really good day. Who was the first person you told? My mom. <laughs> nice. I'm sure she was hyped about it too. Yeah. Since then, you picked up five more offers. Obviously, yeah, South Carolina, Texas A&M. Uh, the most two recent coming from Ole Miss and Maryland. Why do you think, uh, you know, there's been a sudden pickup recently about the offers coming through? Well, with this uh, quarantine, like, we ain't doing that much, but, like, working out and uh, getting the season film and, like, my our, my coaches and, like, everybody just been helping me distribute the film to, like, around. It's just been getting around, so I think, yeah. Absolutely. And then, uh, you know, it's still a long way to go for you in the process. You're only a 2022 prospect. But uh, who, what schools would you say are recruiting you the hardest right now in the process? Um, you know, like, they can't really talk to us. Mm -hmm. But, like, I think uh, my coach has talked to Vandy. I think the most is what, like, I think. I don't know for sure. But I've heard that Vandy's caught a lot in Florida State and Ole Miss. I had so, those three have to keep here. Absolutely. So even, you know, we're still in quarantine, as you mentioned, and all that type of stuff. How have you been handling the recruiting process so far without being able to go on visits, without being able to sit down with these coaches and stuff? How have you been handling the process? Uh, well, that like I've been talking through my coaches, through like my AU coaches, and they just tell me uh, on on the 15th, on June 15th is when like we're going to actually start like building the relationship. That makes sense. And do you have a checklist of things that you're going to be looking for in schools, uh, you know, as, as the uh, process, you know, gets deeper? Most definitely. I, I want to, like, I want to see, like, what guards they have there already, what grade they're in, like, what, who's going to be in my position, uh, what, like, what kind of offense they run, or, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's a lot that goes into it, like, but most importantly, I think, what, what the coach sees in me or what I see in the team. And that, that's a great answer. And you mentioned the offense they run and stuff. What style do you think fits your game the best? Honestly, I, I think, like, I'm more of, like, an up-tempo. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I like, I like teams that can play like that. Like, they have versatile players. Like, it's not just, like, a designated one-point guard or, like, you know, like, a lot of people bring up the ball. Like, I like fast-paced teams. Mm -hmm. Is it, yeah, something like that. Sure. And then you mentioned the June 15th date when schools can start contacting you, initiating contact with you. What schools are you or your coaches talking to currently that have not offered that you think might be close to offering? Um, hopefully Georgia, uh, Florida State, um, Providence, I think one of my coaches said, uh, and NC State. And who all is involved with you or helping you out throughout this process? Um, my AU coach, Bobby Mays, and my new school ball coach, uh, uh, Antonio uh, low, I think. Yeah, Antonio Low. And then your length and skill set, you know, you kind of have a unique sense to your game. For those who haven't seen you play yet, how would you describe yourself and who have you heard that you play like? Um, I heard that I play like a DeJounte Murray. I think I heard that and I actually started to look at his game and I actually kind of see it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I would like describe me as like a, a bigger point guard, can score at the three levels, the three point mid range and get to the rim. Um, I could cause a mismatch and guard like multiple positions. Uh, it's it's like I think just the versatility is like just just describes my game really. And then what have you been working on? I assume you've been getting in the gym and stuff during quarantine. What have you been working on in your game? 
I've been working on a lot. I've been working on conditioning. I've been working on my shot. I didn't shoot that well from the three, like well, how I thought I should. Mm -hmm. So I've been working on my corner threes. I've been working on my handles, uh, trying to get them ready for next year. Uh, I've, I've been working on a lot, honestly. And you mentioned next year, obviously the move coming to North Carolina, uh, jumping schedule and notoriety and stuff. What are your goals you set for yourself coming into next year? My goals, my, my my one goal this year for right now is just to get in there and win. Like, I don't care about making a name. I don't care about putting up a lot of points. I just want to win, like, just to get us started, like, you know. I hear you. What's one thing that people may not know about Quante Berry that you'll let us know? <laughs> uh, a hidden talent that you might have or something that, something that you really like? Hidden talent. Uh, I think I can draw. Okay. What, what, what type of stuff? I mean, is it like painting or is it like drawing like doodles or like what, what kind of stuff freestyle you draw? drawing. That's cool. Do you have like a, like a notebook or something about it? Do you... I, I used to, I gave it to my brother. He went to college today. I gave it to him just okay. to, you know, just to some. How'd you, how, how'd you send off your brother going up to Rhode Island? How'd you send him off? <laughs> uh, I, we, went, we went to the gym yesterday and okay. You know, he he got a win. I think I got one too. But yeah, we came we came home. We just had like the whole day. It was just me, him, and my sister, and like it, it was really good. That's awesome, man. Good stuff. Well, I, I guess wrapping things up here, winding things down. Is there anything that you want to tell anybody, any Quante Berry fans, or any college coaches that might be watching, or anybody that might be watching? Anything you want to leave them with? Uh, I just want to say thank y'all for everybody who is watching this, and appreciate it. Just yeah, absolutely, man. I appreciate you taking a few minutes, a few uh, bit of time. I cannot wait to see you come to North Carolina. I can't wait to see what, you know, the future holds for you and stuff. It should be a very fun season. Of course. I can't wait either. Guys, thank you all very much uh, for tuning in to the Absolute Basketball Experience. For Quante Berry, I am Jamie Shaw. We will see you next time. See ya.